A very good morning to all of you. I hope you are fit and fine. Children, in the previous video, I told you about some attributes of the body type and line break, line break type. I hope you watch the video carefully. In today class, I am going to tell you about paragraph tags, heading tags, horizontal rule tags, font tag, center tag, bold italic and underline tag. So let us start today's class. Paragraph tag. Paragraph tag is used to define a paragraph in a web page. Paragraph rule is used to define paragraph in a web page. With the help of the paragraph tag, you will tell your browser when a paragraph is beginning and ending. Right? Paragraph tool as uh, paragraph tag is used to define a paragraph in a web page and it it tells the browser when a paragraph is ending beginning and the where the paragraph is ending right it is a container tag when a text is included within the opening and the closing paragraph tag a black line is inserted before and after the enclosed text right means when a text is included within the opening and the closing paragraph tag then a blank line is inserted before and after the text it has only one attribute called align paragraph align center paragraph align left and paragraph align right align attribute is used to specify the placement of the text enclosed within the paragraph tag with respect to the margin means align attribute is used to increase or decrease space between margin and the paragraph If you do not use the align attribute, the paragraph is left align. By default, the alignment of the paragraph is a left align. Let's take an example. Open notepad. On page number 102, example is given. Let's start. First line is HTML. Second line is the head. Third line is title, national, title of this, this web page is national flag of India. It is the title of the page, then title close, then after that head close, head tag close. Now body tag start then after that we want type paragraph so we start we type here p paragraph type and align attribute is equal to left then type the text I have already typed the text to save our time. This is the first paragraph. After that, close the first paragraph and start the second paragraph. To start the second paragraph, same process, start angular bracket, P, align. If you want to give alignment, then center and after paragraph tag type the second paragraph
after the second paragraph close the paragraph tag then start the th to start the third paragraph again start paragraph tag and uh, if you want to give a line then a line is equal to after that type the third paragraph and after the third par typing the third paragraph close the paragraph tag so in this way you can define paragraph in a web page to define a paragraph start uh, type angular bracket p then align is equal to left right center right. then type the type your paragraph and after typing the paragraph close the paragraph tag right so in this way you can create too many paragraph after that close the body tag then close the HTML tag and after typing the text after typing the code save this page file save choose the location where you want to save type the web page name paragraph para dot html save as click on the save as type click on the all files click on the save to see the output open any web browser press control o save the uh, open select the file and click on open button you can see on the screen i write first paragraph with left align so it is left align second paragraph is a center align and third paragraph is a right align right I now next topic is heading tags heading tags display text in larger as well as bolder font than the normal body text heading tags display text in larger as well as bolder font than the normal body text means with the help of the heading tags you can make text larger and bolder other than the normal body text right HTML provide six level of heading h1 to h6 means HTML provide six types of uh, heading h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 h1 is the largest heading and h6 is the smallest size of the heading right i repeat once again heading tags is used to make the text larger and bolder other than the normal text there are six types of heading text is available in HTML h1 to h6 h1 is the largest size and h6 is the smallest size of the heading when heading tags are used a blank line gets automatically added before and after the heading when you are using heading line then a blank line automatically added before and after the heading the heading tag have just one attribute called a line what is the syntax of the heading tag how we use heading tag in a html document this is the syntax start angular bracket H hn here n stand for numbers between 1 to 6 then align is equal to center then close the angular bracket type the text which you want to make bold or larger after that close the heading tag let's take an example
open notepad and on page number 103 figure number 7.5 example is given html head title here title is the red fold title close head tag close body tag start then h1 alignment equal to left close the angular bracket and after the after write the text which you want to make head, heading the red code then close the heading tag h1 same same process h2 align left and close the h2 h3 align center h1 close h3 close next heading is h4 center alignment center and close the heading 4 next heading level is 5 align is equal to right then angular bracket and ta type the text After that close the heading 5 next heading 6 alignment close the angular bracket and type the text close heading 6 after that close the body close the HTML save the file heading to see the effect open any web browser press ctrl o and search and select your file and click on open button you can see on the screen this is a heading 1 tag this is a heading 1 with left align heading 2 with left align heading 3 with center align heading 4 with center align heading 5 is a center line and heading 6 is a right align you can see Heading was uh, you can see on the screen. Heading one is the largest size, and heading six is the smallest size. You can also see a blank line added before and after the heading. Right? I hope you understand. Now, next topic is horizontal rule tag. Horizontal rule or short form HR tag. HR tag is used to insert a horizontal rule in an HTML page to divide or separate document section. Right? HR tag is used to insert a horizontal line, a horizontal rule in a HTML page to divide to divide the HTML page into different section. Understood? HR tag 
is used to insert a horizontal rule in html page in html page to divide the entire html document into different section this is a empty tag right by default the horizontal line appears shaded span the width of the browser window the attributes of hr tag are listed in this table the first attribute is size size attribute specify the vertical size or the thickness of the horizontal line size with the help of the size attribute you can specify the thickness of the horizontal line vertical size or the thickness of the horizontal rule how you use start angular bracket hr then size is equal to 5 or any number of your choice second attribute is width width attribute is used to specify the length of the horizontal line the value can be given in pixel or in percentage of the page width means with the help of the width attribute you can specify the length of the horizontal rule how we use width attribute under horizontal rule start angular bracket then hr width is equal to 500 or any number or you can also use you can also give width as a percentage angular bracket hr width is equal to percentage third attribute is align align attribute specify the placement of the horizontal line on the web page right align align attribute is used to placement of the horizontal line on the web pages with respect of the margin of the web browser no shade no shade attribute specifies that the horizontal line should appear as a solid stripe across the page rather than a shaded stripe no shade attribute is used to remove the shade of the horizontal from the horizontal rule next is color attribute color attribute is used to specify the color of the horizontal rule to use color attribute under horizontal rule tag type angular bracket hr color is equal to color name after that close the angular bracket let's see an example let's take an example which is given on page number 105 open notepad type the following code This web page is movements. Title close. Head close. Body tag start. Then H1, heading 1. Align center. famous monument of the world I want to give a, a horizontal rule so I am using here HR then next line is Taj Mahal I have already typed this and just to copy the text and after this line I want to give horizontal line rule with size attribute then third line and after the third line I want to give a horizontal rule with size 
five and uh, no shade. Then next next line is the great pole. And after this, after this, I give horizontal root with size five and color attribute blue. Then after that, next line. And after this. I also want to give horizontal root a charge with uh, attribute size attribute equal to 5 color attribute is equal to red width is equal to width attribute is equal to 50 percent and align is equal to center so then the after this, next line is and after this again horizontal root with attribute size attribute is equal to 5, color is equal to blue, uh, green, width is equal to 75%. A line is equal to left, right? Then close the body tag, close the HTML tag. After typing the code, save it, file, save, search your location, then file name with extension HTML or SJM click on the save as type and choose all files after that click on the save button to see the effect open any web browser press ctrl o and choose the file click open button you can see this is the horizontal all the uh, entire web page divided into one two three four five section right i'm using uh, i am using here center alignment so this horizontal rule is appear in the center and this is a left and also i'm using here 50 percent that's why the length of the horizontal rule is 50 percent and in and here we are using 75 percent Right. 